Hello everyone. In this video, we study about how to obtain the Fourier series expansion of the function whose period is 2 pi. Let us consider an example. Obtain the Fourier series expansion of f of x equal to x square, where x takes the values from minus pi to plus pi. Moving to the solution part, given f of x is defined on the interval minus pi to plus pi. And from the previous video, we know that we know that Fourier series expansion of f of x defined on minus pi to pi is given by the formula defined on the interval minus pi to pi is given by so this is the formula is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n running from 1 to infinity b n sin n x now the constants a naught a n and b n is found by using the explicit formula where the a naught formula is given by 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx and the formula for the a n is 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into cos nx dx on the same lines the formula to find out Fourier constant bn is given by 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x sin nx into dx here we can observe the length of the interval the length of the interval is found by taking a difference of the extreme values. So the length of the interval is say that is pi minus of minus pi. So we get 2 times pi. So the length of the interval is 2 pi. Hence this function is a periodic function with a period 2 pi. Now before finding the Fourier constants a0, an and bn, I test the odd and even nature of the function. Because I know the standard result, if the function is even, then bn becomes zero. And if the function is odd, then a0 and an becomes zero. So moving to the test for odd and even nature. Since the given interval is minus pi to pi, the condition to test the odd and even nature is we have to consider f of minus x. So we have f of x is equal to x square. Now I consider f of minus x in the sense in the above equation, wherever we have x, I have to substitute minus x. So this becomes minus x whole square. So it is f of minus x is equal to x square, but this x square is nothing but the given function f of x. So this is satisfying a condition f of minus x is equal to f of x. This gives a conclusion that given function is even function. Given function is even. Hence, we can come to a conclusion that the Fourier coefficient bn will be equal to zero. No need to find out the Fourier coefficient bn using the explicit formula. Directly we can write bn equal to zero because the function is even in nature. Now we take a formula to find out a naught so we have a naught is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x value is x square into dx 
I make use of the integral property here. Even function between the limits minus pi to pi can be written as 2 by pi integral 0 to pi x square into dx. If I integrate this, 2 by pi is constant into x square integration is x cube by 3 between the limits 0 to pi. If I substitute a limit to this, so it is 2 by 3 pi into x cube between the limits, it becomes pi cube minus 0, 1 pi, and this cube will become a square. We get a naught is equal to it is 2 times pi square by 3. So the next is we need to find out the Fourier coefficient an. Now I consider the formula for the Fourier coefficient of an. So we know that we know that the formula to find an is 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into cos nx dx. Here we have tested that the function f of x is even and the cos function is also an even function. Since the product of even function into even function is again an even, I can write this integral as an is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into cos nx, where f of x value is x square cos nx into ds. The product of f and cos is even into even is again an even function. So this is even function under the integral minus pi to pi. I can write it as two times integral zero to pi. Now I make use of Bernoulli rule of integration here. I can get like an is equal to two by pi into first function into integration of cos is sine nx by n minus differentiation of x square is two times x into sine integration is minus cos nx by an square plus 2x differentiation is 2 into cos integration is again sin nx by n q. So this complete thing is under the limits 0 to pi. When I substitute the limits here, for the upper limit, this term becomes sin n pi. And for the lower limit, it becomes sin 0. Since sin n pi is 0 and sin 0 is 0, the complete term will become 0. Here also same thing. For upper limit, sin n pi becomes 0. For lower limit, sin 0 becomes 0. So I need to substitute limit only for the middle term now. So this is 2 by pi into minus into minus is plus. Plus 2 by n square is constant into cos nx between the limits. It is cos n pi minus cos 0. So we get an is equal to 2 into 2, it will be 4 divided by pi n square into cos n pi can be written as minus 1 to the power of n minus 1. So this is the required Fourier coefficient an. Now once we know the values of a0, an and bn, we can able to write down the Fourier series expansion. This implies the Fourier series expansion f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity. It is an cos nx plus summation n running from 1 to infinity bn sin nx. So the bn is a 0. I substitute the value of f of x. It is x square is equal to a0. So we just have a look what is the value of a0. It is 2 times pi square by 3. A naught value is 2 times pi square by 3. We have it is 2 times pi square by 3 divided by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity. A n value is 4 divided by pi n square minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 into cos nx. So this term bn will become zero. So I can simplify this as 
it is pi square by 3 plus 4 by pi I can keep it outside the summation into summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 divided by n square into cos nx. So this is the required Fourier series expansion of the function f of x is equal to x square in the interval minus pi to pi. 